everyone. Thanks for coming back to my channel, Marcy here. Today, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna talk through um, some eyes with you today. I've already done uh, my foundation and I'll have a video link below if you're interested in how I did that. Um, but pretty much, I'm just going to uh, wing it with my eyes. So I hope you guys enjoy it. The first thing that I wanna use is a new little thing that I picked up and this is the e.l.f. Smudge Pot. Very cute and this is in brownie points. How cute is that? And this is what it looks like. The only thing is I, I've used it before and I really liked it. I'm gonna use it today as a base. The, the opening is so small, my little fat fingers barely get into there and I don't like for you know product to get up under my nail. That drives me nuts and clearly it's all up and through there. But I'm gonna start out with the base here and as you see, very, very pigmented. And I know, I know it looks sloppy right now. Don't worry, it'll all come clean towards the end, I promise. So I'm just gonna start by, you know, making sure that the product is all over the lid. I really like this color, don't you guys? Oh, I tell you. They keep some good products for the low. I think that was no more than maybe two bucks or so. All right, so I have that there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the blending process. I'm gonna start with this um, eyeshadow brush that I got in my Vice palette, just because I think I'm gonna use that palette today. And I'm just going to start spreading this product around. And it is very, very creamy. As you see, well, I don't know if you see, but Lord Jesus is creamy. It's like putting lipstick or something on your on your eyelid. And I mean, I don't know if that's a bad thing. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but we'll see when it starts to mesh with the other colors that I want to use today. All right, there's that. Now, I'm gonna just take Kleenex and clean that up a little, all right? I know it's gonna bug some of you. All right, so that's very pretty. We have that there all over the lid. I'm just gonna look real quick to make sure it looks in real life the way I want it to. All right, next I'm going to, um, I think I'm gonna go with a little bit of a plum color and I have my Vice palette here and I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna dip into that purpley plummy color and I'm going to use the flat tip because I don't want to mix the colors just yet as far as blending is concerned and I'm just going to use this in the outer V and I'm going to let it come in just a bit so if you see what I'm doing here I'm just kind of placing the color I'm so sorry that my lighting is going wonky anytime overcast outside this happens but I didn't want that to stop me from filming today so you see I'm gonna take just a little bit more and get that in there nice and pigmented all right so that's that I just place that color and and if you can see it adds a nice little duo chromey kind of look right now it's purple and brown um it's pretty but you got to definitely go back in with that blending brush and your blending brush is a fluffier brush the flat ones are basically for putting down that color the fluffier brushes are for blending that color out so what i'm doing here is i'm trying to merge the colors together so that it is seamless and that they melt into one another versus purple and brown. You got it? I hope so, people. All right. Okay. Now, I'm not going to go too crazy because I'm not a crazy person with eyeshadow. I'm not going to use 8050 billion colors here. So now I'm going to choose my brow bone color. And my brow bone color, I think I want to warm it up just a little bit. And so I'm going to go to the uh, Lorac Pro palette and I'm going to use that peachy color there. It's called Nectar. 
You see that nectar color? I'm gonna take that, take again, I wiped off the brush a little bit and I'm gonna flip it over so that I'm not going to the purple side. Flip the brush over and I'm gonna dab it in and then I'm gonna place it right up under here. Since I have so much shimmer happening with this eye look today, I wanted to try to keep that brow bone uh, as matte, and chilled out as possible because the eye look in and of itself is pretty glimmery. Got it? All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take an even flatter brush that has like a pointy, you see that? And I'm gonna now, I'm gonna go up underneath my, um, my eyelid, not my eyelid. I'm gonna go at the bottom, okay? My words aren't working. <laughs> I'm gonna go back into that purple and I'm gonna just dab, dab, dab it, and I'm gonna take it underneath just like this. Now, I'm gonna mix this with the paint, um, the same color that I used that paint pot, but instead it's gonna be an eyeshadow form, and, and you know, all palettes have that glittery, bronzy color. So, I'm just going to first go with the purple, and then, so you find a similar color in all kind of palettes. So this is the It's Judy's Time palette. And you see that has a little bronzy. This is the Vice, and that has bronzy there, okay? So just take pick, choose a palette. You all got a glittery, goldy, bronzy color in there. And I don't want to put the paint pot under there because it's so liquidy. So I'm just going to take that in the ooh, inner corner. Just like that and bring it in a little okay and I'm going back in with the purple again until I get get it the way that I want it now in the blending process what tends to happen is that you, you you lose some of the dynamic of the color so if that happens during the blending process all you have to do is go back and add some more so that's exactly what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go back with my flat brush dipping into the purple and I'm simply just going to bring back that dimension okay that's it all right and that's basically it. Now, one more thing that I want to do, since that I put that e.l.f. paint pot there, any eyeshadow that I put over it is gonna stick like glue. So I'm gonna take just a little bit of Lucky, which is a goldy color, and I'm gonna press it down, and I'm gonna highlight even more. See that? There we go. Look how pretty, in my opinion, that is. Good. Just so pretty. All right, that's the eyeshadow, okay? Now we're gonna go in and I'm going to put some um, eyeliner. First, I'm gonna put the eyeliner on the bottom because I think that will make the eye pop even more. with this kind of like this smoky purple look that we just did here okay you see how it opened that up a little bit and now we're gonna go on top of course with some liquid eyeliner and this one is the waterproof liquid eyeliner from wet n wild excuse me I'm opening up a new pack here and I normally don't like this brush I usually switch it out once I get it but since this is new I don't have my old one here and this is ultra black. So I'm gonna go in do the best I can with this, this brush. I don't, I don't like this one because it's so stiff. I'm gonna get some of that off of there because it seems to be a little goofy. All right. And I'm just gonna create, I'm sorry, with that mirror all in your face. Shh, gotta focus. All 
nice little wing there. Got it. See? Whew, that was like surgery, guys. <laughs> so I'm going to do the other one off camera. <laughs> Got it. All right. So now I'm going to go in with the telescopic. Um, and this is in black. Mascara. And I'm just going to load up. Load up on some mascara. Let me go slow. Because you know I always get mascara everywhere. And basically, you do whatever method you want. Sometimes I wiggle. Sometimes I, I um, I just do it like this and keep going over it and over it and over it. Sometimes I take it from the end and twirl it out like that. Sometimes that works. Just whatever, whatever's your flavor, and whatever is your favorite mascara. Okay. So I'll keep loading it up. I'll be right All back. right. So here is the eye look. I hope you can see it. I really enjoy this um, this combination of colors with the purple and the bronze. Um, it just, it's, it's a combination that I never really tried before and I am really enjoying it. Okay, so the last thing that I'm gonna add because pretty much the rest of my face is done, excluding the lips, and I'm going to add the Jordana Modern Matte Lipstick in Matte Dare. I'm going to clean out my... I tell you, that paint pot, it gets all up under my nails. I can't stand it, y'all. I cannot stand it. All right, so let's get into the lips. Mm. All right, looks like that. Of course, that's not all nude because I have been wearing this sucker. If you follow me on Instagram... At Marcy, one Marcy JD, you'll see. I use it all the time. All right, I'm not going to use a lip liner because I don't have one here. <laughs> so we're going to wing it. And before you say it, I already know it's a bit much with the eye, but I can't resist. I got to have it. Sorry with the mirror, but it's hard to see myself in the camera. Now. These lipsticks are very drying, so. You have to know that they will cling to every dry patch known to man. But just be careful if you don't have a lip liner and get it on there. All right. Well, this is it. This is the final look. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was fun for you. Let me know if you like these little talk through um, makeup looks and I'll do more for you. Until next time, you guys, if you have something nice to say, say it. If you don't, Keep to yourself. Peace.